Hey guys, what is going on? It's Being These Games here, and today I've got a video for you, and it's the top five reasons why DLC 5 on Black Ops 3 could actually be happening. Alright, I did a video a couple days ago on top five reasons why DLC 5 could not happen. Make sure to check that out. At the end of the video, I'll probably have, uh, 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 I don't even know what it's called anymore, but it'll come up on the screen. Last 20 seconds of the video, it'll come up. All you gotta do is click that. So make sure to finish watching this video all the way through. And then at the end, make sure to click that so you can see why it might not happen. So this video doesn't get your hopes up too high. And I don't have any of these points ordered like from best to worst or worst to best, like I said in the last video. So we're just going to get right into it, alright? So the first thing i got to say is that Infinite Warfare has a shorter DLC season. Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, Ghost... They all had a longer DLC season than Infinite Warfare is going to have. Infinity Ward and Activision have even come out and said this. This isn't speculation or rumors. It's so far on track with the past CODs, but it's going to speed up as DLC 2 and 3 comes out probably a week before each DLC from Black Ops 3. And then we'll probably have like a whole month before when DLC 4 drops, which is going to create a big big window for Black Ops 3 to place DLC 5 in. And another point is that they'll make plenty of money. I mean, come on, guys. Let's be honest. A lot of people are enjoying Infinite Warfare. They are enjoying multiplayer. They are enjoying zombies. But you know you're not enjoying zombies on Infinite Warfare more than you are on Black Ops 3. If they release a uh, DLC 5 of remastered maps, which is basically what they're going to do, you know you're going to buy it. You know you are. I know you are. I know I am. You know I am. It's just that simple. They're going to make so much money. Oh, and we all know how much money Activision and Treyarch like with them supply drops. So don't be surprised if this is a main reason why they do it. And this reason, I would say, the one I'm about to say, you guys could say it's like, what? What are you talking about? You're stupid. But... I say it's going to keep Call of Duty alive, because one, oh, oh wow, I just got a random chest pain, that was awful, but one, Infinite Warfare has less sales than Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 had less sales than Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare had less sales than Ghost, and Ghost had less sales than Black Ops 2. There's been a decline on every single COD game after uh, Black Ops 2. People are sick of what's going on now. But well, people are still buying it. Not as much, though, but they're still getting there. But the lifespans for Call of Duties are dying and becoming a lot shorter. As soon as the last DLC comes out, it's a good half a month, I would say, and then it's boring. So it would keep Call of Duty alive because not only would it bring energy back to the community, like, oh my god, DLC 5 is happening, like, we'll have DLC 2 for Infinite Warfare, DLC 3, 4, then DLC 5. We're getting DLC all the time. And it'll be, most likely if it's released, released in the gap where there's no Call of Duty game. Because Infinite Warfare will come out like it did. DLC 1, 2, 3, 4, and then there's always that big space over the summer where there's nothing. And then in November, the next Call of Duty comes out. It will keep it alive because it'll be DLC 1, 2, 3, 4, then over the summer, in that big space all the way up until fall, <clears throat> sorry about that, all the way up until fall, the new Call of Duty come out. So in that big space, they'll just put DLC 5, and you'll always have content up until the next Call of Duty. And I think that's going to keep people playing Call of Duty games. And if you're playing a lot of Black Ops 3 DLC 5 over the summer, you'll probably get tired of that. And that means you haven't been playing Infinite Warfare in a while, so that means you'll just go back to Infinite Warfare, the new Call of Duty will come out, and then the same thing will happen over again. And here, here's another point I would say you guys are going to laugh at. Uh, it's going to help make peace with the Call of Duty community because Treyarch, especially, has been known to be dickheads, okay? We wanted PhD. We didn't get PhD. We wanted the staffs. We didn't get the staffs. We wanted a great Easter egg. Yes, this one is opinion-based. We got such a fucking letdown of an Easter egg on Revelations. But anyway, it just, that's a few examples, right? And 
slowly, I would say, the COD community is just getting, like, fed up with what they're doing. I'm getting fed up, too. I'm, I told myself I wasn't buying Infinite Warfare, but I was like, man, Modern Warfare, Zombies, Season Pass, I can have it all. I need it. So I got it. But I don't know about the next one. Just an example, like how I feel. I don't know if I'm going to buy the next Call of Duty because of how they treat us now. Obviously, they're a business. They see us as money signs, but they need to see us as people and consumers and not uh, wallets walking around. All right. So I feel if they actually listen to us and release a DLC 5, because that's, that's what we're all asking for. If they release it, I feel it's going to you know, rebuild some bridges that they burned a while back with the COD community and get a little closer again. And lastly, I would say it'll bring attention to Infinite Warfare Zombies. And I know you guys are like, man, that's so dumb, bro. You sound stupid. You have three idiotic points. I can understand how you see that. But just let me explain myself, all right? It'll bring attention to IW Zombies because, right, when you have DLC 5, it'll hype people up for zombies. They're playing zombies again. They're really in, back into it. And then they'll get bored. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then they're, like, still in the zombies mood, but they don't want to play the Black Ops 3 maps because they played them all day, every day, all summer long. Like I did on Black Ops 3. Oh, my gosh. I got so bored. And then they're going to go to Infinite Warfare Zombies be like, man, this zombies isn't that bad. I really like zombies. I'm going to play this. Because that's what happened to me. When, uh, like, I have Advanced Warfare. I have all DLCs for it. And I'm a fan of the zombies. When Black Ops 3 came around, I wasn't playing Advanced Warfare anymore. I was just fed up with the game. When DLC 1 came out, I played it. And I was like, man, Derizon Drag, this map is lit, boy. And then I was like, hmm, I don't want to play Shadows. The giant's too easy, and Drys and Drac, I played that every day for a week, all day. I don't want to play that map. But I want to play Zombies. Hmm. Don't feel like playing Dead Ops, either. Oh, yeah, Advanced Warfare had Zombies. That's what's going to happen over the summer. If they do release DLC 5, then they're going to be like, Oh, yeah, Infinite Warfare had Zombies, too. And it's going to bring attention back to that. As long as there's Zombies content, and people are satisfied, people are always going to love Zombies, no matter what. Because zombies is zombies, no matter what storyline you have. Some people don't even care about the storyline. They just want to get in the game, get a good gun, get their perks, get to a high round. That's what plenty of people do. I still do that. Some people just want to do challenges, like starting room only. I do that too. And then there's the Easter egg nuts, which is also me. I love doing Easter eggs. So it'll just bring the whole zombies community together as a whole. And it'll be like, hey, DLC 5. I know you want it, here you go, so that'll heal the community a bit, and then they'll play it, they'll love it, and they'll be like, man, I need more zombies, where's it at? Now I gotta wait for next Call of Duty, oh wait, no, Infinite Warfare has zombies, and I have four maps, well, five maps, I guess. I'm guessing, because not all DLCs are out, I'm guessing there's gonna be five in total, because Spaceland plus four DLC. But anyway, that's enough for me on this video, I hope you guys all enjoyed, if you did, be sure to leave a like on this video. The other video was doing great for me, so I hope you guys go ahead and check it out. It probably already showed up by now, but make sure to click that as soon as you feel like it. And comment down below what you think on this. If you think DLC 5 is going to happen, if you think it's not going to happen, and if it does happen, tell me what you think they're going to do in the DLC. Will there be multiplayer or just zombies or remastered maps? Stuff like that. So make sure to leave a like, and peace out everybody. Have a wonderful day.